meant to be beautiful. The world would have looked to the sky and seen hope. So imagine this. Ultron is created, everyone freaks out because we all know that sentient AI usually equals Skynet. But nope, Ultron doesn't go all murderbot this time, he becomes a hero. So let's address the big question. If Ultron was a hero, could he stop Thanos from wiping out half of all life in the universe? Yeah, I think there's a good chance Ultron would have prevented the snap. And I will talk about how it'll all go down, don't you worry. Having Ultron as a hero shifts major MCU events drastically. For starters, the whole Sokovia thing and Civil War would never happen. This means that the Avengers would have been united when Thanos showed up. And it goes beyond just that. But just how wild will these changes be? Well, let's jump into it and explore an MCU where Ultron is a hero. This version of Ultron is a success. He doesn't want to destroy the Avengers or blow up the world. He was created to protect the world from aliens. Ultron is meant to be this planetary security guard, and that's what he does. With the Iron Legion, he won't just protect the world from aliens, he becomes the most efficient hero on the planet. With so many copies of himself, Ultron can be everywhere at any time. Of course, not everyone will be a fan of Ultron. Self-aware AI with almost limitless power, that just never ends well. But Ultron will prove his worth, and while there will always be some pushback against him, most people will see the benefits of having the Iron Legion protect the whole world. With Ultron being the hero, a lot of things will start shifting in the MCU timeline. First, no Vision. Since Ultron is a success, Tony and Bruce have no reason to redo and create Vision. The dynamic of the Avengers will change as well. With Ultron protecting the world, Tony Stark will retire from the superhero life. The world doesn't need Iron Man with Ultron around. Tony will focus on upgrading Ultron and the Iron Legion, making sure that his robotic child achieves his full potential. With Thanos always in the back of his mind, Tony will be obsessed about turning Ultron into the perfect hero. Ultron will replace Tony as the new Iron Man and become an active member of the Avengers. And what a sight it would be, seeing Ultron fighting alongside the other heroes. But a grey Terminator-looking machine might send the wrong message. If Ultron's gonna be a hero, he should look the part. With Tony's help, he will build himself a human-friendly body. So Ultron will look like Vision. He'll even stick the Mind Stone in his forehead, since this way he'll absorb the cosmic power of the gem directly into himself. Captain America will likely never be okay with the concept of Ultron, but eventually he might realize that the world could be a much safer place with Ultron around. Also, maybe Ultron is able to lift Mjolnir just like Vision. I think that should serve as proof that Ultron is alright. Hulk won't go crazy in Johannesburg, and that means that he'll never leave Earth and won't end up on Sakaar. Bruce could finally find some peace. But what about the Maximoff twins? The good news is that Quicksilver won't die in this timeline. However, the bad news is that both Wanda and Pietro won't end up joining the Avengers. The twins had their change of heart after realizing that Ultron wanted to destroy the world. Without that common ground with the heroes, it's a totally different story for the Maximoffs. They blame Tony for the death of their parents, so they will clash with the Avengers sooner or later. Wanda is one of the most powerful beings in the MCU, so an evil version of Scarlet Witch would be the Avengers' worst nightmare. Nightmare. Ultron could pretty much kill Wanda, knowing that with her powers, she could destroy the whole world. In this version, Sokovia won't be destroyed. That means that the Sokovia Accords will never be a thing. Also, Zemo's family will still be alive and he won't go after the Avengers. And this means that the events that led to Civil War will be prevented. The heroes won't have reasons to fight. The Avengers will stay as a team and won't disassemble. But it also means that Black Panther, Spider-Man, and Ant-Man won't interact with the Avengers. The UN bombing will not happen, so T'Chaka will still be alive and T'Challa won't go after Bucky, which means Black Panther will have no established relationship with the other heroes. Same goes with Spider-Man and Ant-Man. No airport fight means that the two heroes won't be recruited. And sure, all of them could still join the Avengers in the end, but the circumstances will be very different. Criminals like Adrian Toomes won't stand a chance with Ultron around. Since no problem will be too big for the AI, Ultron will keep copying himself, manufacturing specialized drones that will handle different situations. 
Some will be there to help people during natural disasters. Others will serve as a police force. But some things could go a little darker. Ultron could tap into that cosmic processing power of the Mind Stone and create some serious predictive analytics algorithms. What does that mean? Well, Ultron could predict the future with the power of the Mind Stone. So Ultron could start going after potential threats and eliminate them before they become dangerous. And yeah, this is kinda what Tony envisioned, a suit of armor around the world. I see a suit of armor around the world. Sounds like a cold world, Tony. I've seen colder. For Tony, it'll be a small price to pay for a safe world. Sooner or later, Ultron will make the world a safer place. But I must ask you this, could the world really be safe with someone like the Hulk on the loose? The Avengers might be fine with the Hulk, cause he's their friend. But Ultron has no friends. He's a machine that works based on cold logic. Hulk is only one bad day away from going all World War Hulk, so Ultron will begin taking actions to prevent that. Meaning that either Ultron will need to shoot the green monster into space or take some drastic measures to destroy the Hulk. All of this will put Ultron at odds with the Avengers and other heroes. It's one thing to protect the world, but it's a completely different thing to eliminate people just because they might be dangerous. But with Ultron becoming so powerful and having so many copies of himself, could anyone stand in his way? Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Okay, well, this, uh, this got very dark real quick. What was the title of this video again? Oh yeah, right, Ultron is a hero. Whoopsie, my bad. I guess it's impossible not to go there, right? Terminator kinda conditioned us to fear self-aware AIs. Okay, so let's stay positive and keep Ultron as a hero who doesn't end up trying to kill other heroes to protect the world. The main reason why Tony created Ultron was to protect the world from aliens. So for Ultron, the only logical thing to do is to explore the galaxy. And it's only a matter of time before Ultron learns about Thanos. The Mad Titan wasn't very subtle with his balancing the universe thing, so it doesn't take a genius to figure out that Thanos is a problem. And with his direct access to the Mind Stone, Ultron will learn about Thanos' plan to collect the Infinity Stones, so of course Ultron will try to do the same. Could you imagine Ultron building himself a body that will contain all six Infinity Stones? When the Black Order show up on Earth, they won't have such an easy time against the Avengers. Earth is pretty much closed to any galactic enemies with the Iron Legion protecting the whole planet. Those donut ships won't stand a chance against Ultron's army. But even if the Black Order manages to survive the Iron Legion onslaught, they will be facing a united Avengers team. The heroes won't be caught with their pants down this time around. They will be ready, and with Ultron's help, they will have a better understanding of the threat they're facing. That's if Ultron will allow things to go that far. He could bring the fight directly to Thanos and not wait for the Mad Titan to make his move. But regardless if Thanos arrives on Earth or Ultron goes to him, sooner or later the Mad Titan will clash with Ultron. And this brings us to the big question of the whole video. Would Ultron be able to prevent the snap from ever happening? And the answer is yes, I do believe Ultron has the power to stop Thanos. At this point in this alternate timeline, Ultron would have upgraded himself to the point that he can beat Thanos even if the Mad Titan would possess the Infinity Stones. To battle Thanos, Ultron could build himself a body made of both Vibranium and Uru Metal. Now that would be awesome. Ultron vs Thanos would be an epic battle for sure. And while the Mad Titan is a powerhouse on a whole other level, Ultron won't stand alone. Thanos will be forced to clash with a lot of powerful heroes. And of course, the Iron Legion will be there as well, which will consist of countless versions of Ultron. With so many powerful opposing forces, even Thanos won't stand a chance. I personally think it'd be iconic if Ultron ends up sacrificing himself to save Earth and destroy Thanos. Or imagine Ultron doing the I am Iron Man moment as he gets his hands on the Infinity Gauntlet and snaps his fingers, dusting Thanos and his army. And after that, the possibilities are endless. Imagine Ultron clashing with Galactus and other cosmic threats. Could Ultron bring peace and order to the whole universe? So if you want to see more stories with this heroic Ultron, let me know and we can explore what the MCU could look like after Ultron beats Thanos. 
And that is why what if videos like this are so fun. It just shows how everything can shift with one little change. This is why I love doing these videos, and hopefully you like them too. So why don't you subscribe and maybe drop a like, because that always helps CBR to do more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.